Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com. I am Torio, and today I want to talk about the best merchandise to buy for your live shows. Hello, everybody. Thank you for stopping by to watch this video. If you haven't yet, Subscribe. I have tons of subjects on music business that you'll love to watch. Also, like and share at the end if you like this video. So let's get to it. So merch, which is merchandise. This is something you want to deal with if, you, if you're starting to do a lot of shows, a lot of live gigs, live shows, whatever you want to call them. You should have a table full of merchandise. Why? Because it's more income for yourself. And if you got a steady fan base, they will buy that stuff up quickly. Now, what kind of merchandise should you have on your table? T-shirts, obviously. Should you have men's? Should you have women's? Should you have both? Well, think about your audience. Who do you usually see at your shows? Is it a good combination of men and women? Is it just men for the most part? Are you like some slick R&B singer or pop singer and you just basically see women? Or you could even be like a country artist who's a woman and a lot of your shows are mainly women. Because you don't want to waste your money buying only like, you know... 20 men's shirts to put at your table and then you have like 50 women's and you don't sell any of the women's that's a waste of money so think about who you're playing to who's usually in your audience and then buy those shirts accordingly how much should you get at first well it depends how big of a arena or a bar or a club or whatever you're doing is if it's a small club maybe you bring along like 10 10 each of each shirt like men and women's if it's like a bigger place and you're opening for like a big act you might want like a hundred or more you never know it just depends on how big of the place and how big your fan size is also besides t-shirts you could sell stickers you could sell keychains you can sell um cds or if you don't want to do the cd route because you just feel like you know cds are kind of played out now you can buy usb drives now i know like a lot of manufacturers of cds and vinyl and all that stuff they started jumping on the bandwagon of selling your album on usb drives and it'll have your logo or your band or artist name on there and everything and they'll actually put all the uh songs on the usb drive themselves for you now you can do that do it that route which is a little more or you can just buy blank usb drives with your logo on them or your band or artist name already on them they'll be blank and then you just put the files on yourself it's not that hard i mean it would, it would just be like a night you sit there put in a blank usb drive Transfer your files on, pull it out. The next one, you know, take a few hours probably, but you could save money by doing it that way. Now, a lot of people are buying these at shows. Uh, they're It's simple because a lot of cars don't even have CD players anymore. They have USB drives, so they could just plug it right into the USB drive and play it from there. If they want it at home, they could plug it into their laptop or computer. They could burn it to a CD if they want, so there's many options. So you can sell these little USB drives for five, ten bucks, easy, depending on how much you buy them for, obviously. Those are very popular right now. Uh, what else is? There's tons of things. I found a website. Now, I'm not affiliated with this site. I just went into Google and searched for band and artist merch that you can buy and resell, obviously. And this one came up I thought was kind of nice. It's called bandsonabudget.com. And if you look there... It's pretty nice. They offer custom merch packages, which I thought was kind of cool. Like the starter pack, it's two hundred fifty-five dollars, nine to twelve day business turnaround, and they give you twenty-four shirts, fifty posters, one hundred guitar picks. That's another thing is posters. I forgot to mention. Now the guitar picks, obviously, that's for like rock and country and whatever other genre guitars are being, because a lot of fans might want to buy that guitar pick. It's a pretty cool idea, actually. And then you could go up. There's the hometown hero. It's five hundred seventy-five dollars. You get fifty T-shirts. One color print front and back, 500 roll stickers, 50 posters, 100 guitar picks. This is just an example. And then they go up to the Road Warrior. You get 100 t-shirts. Obviously, you don't have to get these little merch packages, but it's kind of nice that they did that. But obviously, you can buy them separate. You can just get like 200 t-shirts if you wanted just from them, and they'll ship them to you. So, so keep in mind, doing the t-shirt thing is not cheap either. I mean, you could probably get like... I don't know, a couple hundred t-shirts. It might be like four or five hundred bucks, maybe even cheaper on some sites. So just look around out there. That site I showed you is just one example. There's a million of them out there. But say, you know, 200 t-shirts, you're paying, I don't know, let's say around three, four hundred bucks. 
you could easily make that back because a lot of these people at shows sell these t-shirts for 15 bucks, even more, depending on how popular the artist is. So easily, easily make that money back and with other stuff. But t-shirts are a big deal, big deal, huge deal. Now, when you, if you do a t-shirt, make it nice. Make it nice. Make it like so it stands out or something that people will be looking at and be like, oh, that's nice. You don't want something simple with a tiny logo or, you know, that's, that's stupid. People want the wow factor. Like, oh, I love that. Like, big logo of your artist or band name or whatever it is you want to do. Or your album cover. Or whatever you can think of, but make it nice. Make people want to buy it. If they're your fan and they see it, they like it, they will buy it. I promise you that. I've also seen people sell lighters with your the logo of their band or whatever the artist name is. And the, web, the website on the other side of it. So that's kind of nice. Uh, those are cheap too. You get them real cheap, sell them for a buck or two. You know, you can make a little profit there. Also, don't forget, I've said this before, but if you are selling merch at a table, a lot of these clubs will let you set up a table. Big arenas, you have to talk to somebody. They might, I don't know where you'd put the stuff, but bars, clubs, things like that, easily you can have a nice merch table there. Now, when you, the person you have running the table... If somebody comes and buys something, or even if they don't, offer a clipboard where you can collect email addresses from potential fans. Like they could say, hey, if you want you want to sign up for our newsletter, put your email down. You could even make it more exciting. They could say, hey, join our newsletter, put your email down here, and there's a chance to win a gift card to blah, blah, blah. Something like that. And then people are like, yeah, why not? Then boom, you instantly started email marketing then. Because then you had all these email addresses of potential fans. You could start sending emails out of important things where shows are, CDs that are coming out, videos that are coming out, and email marketing works. Email marketing works so well, you'll be surprised. So get those email addresses as well, and you'll see what I mean. So keep that in mind, but also keep in mind so you don't waste your money, your fan base. You should have a general idea of who your fans are and if you have a lot or not. <laughs> so keep that in mind if you don't have a huge fan base yet take only 20 t-shirts to the thing see if they sell if you do get more and as simple as that now i hope you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up like i said earlier like share subscribe i'm really grateful for everyone that comes to watch these videos also if you want to hit me up on instagram it's at torio 74 i am available most times if you want to ask me a simple question or something like that um, that's totally fine. If I don't get back to you right away, don't hate me, but I get a lot of questions all the time. So, but yeah, I'm usually around, so you could try it out. Also, in the description below, there are tons of things that can help your music career. Check them out. There's discounts on TuneCore, discounts on Bandzoogle, which is great for creating a website for yourself, for your artists or band, or if you're a record label, whatever. Go down there, check all that stuff out. There's many things down there. And I guarantee you, you'll find something that can help you out. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next video.